Hey Peter, you want to do some acid base chemistry in the kitchen? Sure. Okay, let's go. Here it is. Changing the color, is it making the color more like the vinegar made it or darker? I'd say it's making it lighter, a lighter purple. Right, which is what the vinegar did, right? Uh huh. The vinegar, the vinegar made it like a bleached color. Yeah, and so is the vinegar an acid or a base, do you think? I bet it's an acid. It is. So then what does that make the carbon dioxide that you're flying into the water? This got lighter the way the vinegar made it lighter. What do you think the carbon dioxide is? An acid or a base? It's a base. It's a base? Yeah. But the vinegar made it lighter and so did blowing in it. Uh oh. Right? So if it did the same thing. Oh, well, there you go. Well, it got a little bit like that just from blowing in it. So mm -hmm. what does that mean the carbon dioxide is? It's an, an acid. It's an acid. That's right. Carbon dioxide itself isn't an acid, but when it dissolves in water, it turns into carbonic acid. That's what it gives it away. Carbonic acid is an acid. Okay, so what can we think of in the in the kitchen that might be a base? Water. Soap. Water? Soap. Soap. Soap? Soap. Soap might be basic. Try it. And what would, if it was basic, what would it do? It don't need very much. All right, ready? Whoa, that worked well. <laughs> what color did it turn? It turned bright blue. Yeah. That worked really well. It, worked, it changed fast, too. So you're right. Soap must be basic. And basic means it's 
above the pH level of the normal pH level, right? That's right. P basic pHs are above 7, and acidic pHs are below 7. Biology. What else might be the base? Um, what would happen if we added baking soda to acetic acid? It would be it would level out to normal. I don't I don't know. It would react, right? Right. But it would bubble, right? Oh, like baking soda and vinegar. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Which right. is what you're talking about. It would do an acid-base reaction. So if vinegar is an acid, then that must mean that baking soda is a base. That just turned very blue. Get your hand out of the way so the... Yep, nice and blue. I'm going to go in the bathroom and get some kind of cleaning agent that might be basic. <laughs> it got up my nose. You can pour it in and I'll stir. Are you ready? What is it? A little bit at a time. Go a little bit. Ammonia. 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 Turn pretty radically blue. Sodium hydroxide. Made to destroy grease. Yeah. It breaks down hair. Can you be wearing gloves? Yeah, should we be wearing gloves? Isn't this like rat poison strength? Whoa, that worked. It's bright green. And that's incredibly acidic or basic? That would be basic, basic. Very, very basic. That's right. Sodium hydroxide is the first strong base that we've been working with here. Because it's a strong base, it's able to make the pH extremely high. It's turning yellow. Yeah. So how many different colors have we seen here? We've seen purple, which is the indicator. At what pH? At normal pH. Which is neutral pH. Neutral. PH 7. And then acidic, really, really acidic, is bright blue. No. Or, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It was pink, pink. Wasn't it? it was pink, yeah, that's right, it was pink. And then, um, really, really basic was green. Look at all those pretty colors coming from a red cabbage. You got a picture? Mm hmm. Good. Bye.